Hey there guys, and welcome back to another channel update. I haven't done one of these in a while, I honestly haven't had a reason to, until now. So this video is going to be a little bit later than perhaps it should have been. I'm just going to start off by getting the larger topic out of the way. So, for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, I didn't do very well in my A-level results. I, I did alright, but I didn't do very well, and my options were to either reset the year of college, or to do something else. And I had had enough of education, I could not put myself through. College, for me, was worse than, than high school. Like, as much as I hated high school, I hated the assholes and pricks and bitches who ruled it. I could not stand college. I couldn't stand the atmosphere. It was just... I don't know if it was just so different to what I was used to, or... The fact that it's halfway between high school and university, and that middle bridge, I just hated. I could not stand it. So I decided to move on to do something else, and I looked into doing apprenticeships. Mainly in computing, as that is honestly a passion of mine since, since I first ever did HTML, honestly. Originally, I went to college with the idea that I was going to become a pathologist, uh, do autopsies and such. However, after doing one year of A-level biology, no. I A-level biology was just too specific and too much of a ball ache, in all honesty, to be asked. That sounds really bad, but it's true. I could not be asked with biology. I enjoyed computing, and computing slowly and quickly became more of passion and more of what I wanted to do. So that's where I am now. I've left college, I've been spending some time off looking for apprenticeships, and I found one. Now, today is the 4th of October, and I was meant to start my apprenticeship last week on the 28th of September. However, for some reason or another, the apprenticeship was moved back by a week, so I actually start tomorrow on the 5th. What does this mean for my YouTube? Well, it means one of two things. It's good and it is bad. So, the good news, to begin with, is I plan in a year's time to own my own apartment, my own flat in uh, Cardiff, where all the jobs really are, and where, especially for what I want to do. If I want to do coding or software development specifically, then I have to go to a city, and Cardiff is the nearest city. In the future, I plan on moving elsewhere, but for now, Cardiff is kind of where I... Cardiff is kind of where I need to be. So, in a year, I plan to have my own apartment, and that will mean doing YouTube and Twitch on top of work will become a lot easier. I can easily batch record, I will have so much time to myself, I will be able to come home from work, eat, start up a, a stream, sorted. However, then we have the bad news. So, I currently live with my parents, for obvious reasons, and doing YouTube and working is going to be extremely difficult. Now, one good thing about working is I no longer will have the nonsense from my parents basically saying, you know, stop wasting your time, you should be focusing on doing your work, this, that, the other. It will be more a thing of, well, it's my free time on the weekends, I can do what I want, and I want to do YouTube. So my weekends will be reserved for batch recording. I will record a number of videos, hopefully that will last the week. And then the next weekend I'll do the same, and the next weekend I'll do the same. So hopefully by that point in time, I'll have a schedule in order. And that will mean that every week I'll have videos covering the week. And every weekend I'll record new videos. This does 
cause quite an issue though. I can't guarantee the videos will be. I'll. I can't guarantee the one upload a day, and I can't guarantee the videos will be of as good a quality as they perhaps might be. It's really disappointing to me that I can't do YouTube full time. Um, it's definitely something, obviously, a lot of us wish we could do, and. With the channel growing the way it has, I can see in the future, maybe two or three years down the line, maybe. Especially if I can get Twitch going. There's also a few new things coming to the channel that I really am excited for. I really hope you are excited for. They're actually en under NDA at the moment. The only thing I can talk about is Go Gigantic. Go, G Go Gigantic is a... It calls itself a MOBA game. But it, it really isn't. It's really much a, it's really an arena brawler PvP. It's very much 4v4 in a map, a very small map. And your objective is to capture control points by summoning creatures there and killing enemy players. And that is a ton of fun. Ha unfortunately, it is under NDA. There are preview or pre-release streamers and content creators and I am trying to get myself onto that list so I can share my enthusiasm for that game with you with you guys myself. There's also another game that's under NDA that I can't talk about at all. I'm not even allowed to say I own it so that's fun but I can't wait to share that game with you because it's something completely different. It's something you wouldn't expect to work and it does. And the fact that it does work is mind-blowing to me. And it's so much fun. What else is there? No, I think that's about it. The Sky Saga, there's a bunch of new things coming to the channel. So the channel should hopefully grow with those new additions. And maybe, say, in a couple of years, maybe one or two years, I can basically say, you know what, I, I earn enough money to live on my own. I know exactly how much I need. I need about a thousand pound a month to live uh, comfortably. That's... Uh, I worked it out. If I earn minimum wage, I earn something like 920 pound a month. And that's like 500 or 600 pound of that is on rent. Even when I'm living with my parents, I'll be paying rent. I'll be paying that amount of rent, about 500 pound rent. Um, so that also prepares me then for the fact of, uh, if I move out, when I move out, I won't have that money. So, for me to do YouTube on that level, I'd need about that much per month. I was thinking about doing a Patreon in the future. However, I still stand by my own morals. It says on my Twitch is the same thing. I don't like the idea of donations. I don't like the fact that... A lot of streamers seem to bow down to donations. They seem to pander to donations. I like the fact that people are willing to give their money to someone, and I can understand it myself. But unless it's a Twitch subscription, I don't really want people's money. And Patreon is kind of the grey line there, where it's people subscribing for content, but it's also donations. And I feel a little bit... As I said, it walks a very fine line, and I've got to decide... This will be in, over, obviously, over a year's time now, but I will have to decide if I do a Patreon, um, how I honestly feel about it, and how I wish to portray it. I might never say a thing. I might just go, well, guys, I have a Patreon now, and that will be it. If you want to pay into the Patreon, go ahead. Right. I think that's been it for the channel updates. It's only, like, a ten-minute video, so... Everything should be good. Yeah, I really am um, honestly just sad that it's exciting. I'm excited that I'm starting work. I'm excited I've started this apprenticeship. I'm excited that I can do what I want to do. I can work where I want to work, although it's a very difficult and long road to get to. However, um, it... However, it's very, very sad to me that YouTube will have to stay in the background for now. 
just because I can't physically keep up with it anymore. Maybe things will change, maybe I'll have a lot more time than I honestly thought I might have. But until I move out, I can't guarantee that. And again, I do apologise for any videos that come out over the next year or so that are either not up to quality or, hell, maybe I won't even make a couple of videos in a week. Maybe I'll, I'll have like one video or two videos a week because I've actually scrapped videos that weren't good enough. I've been Phoenix Cypher, guys. I've been your host. Thank you for watching this channel updates. I will see you guys next time. Adios, mis amigos.